everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new, please let me know down below so I can welcome you. Um, and also, please come subscribe if you have not yet, and then turn on that notification bell down below so you never miss a new video. Uh, today is December 28th, which is Friday, um, and it is the very last paycheck of the year, so that's pretty exciting. We're coming up on a new year um, with new goals, new resolutions, and all that fun stuff. Um, so before I begin with the cash envelope stuffing, I just have to show you guys this because I thought it was so cool. So when I very first, or when I got my very first um, Erin Condren uh, planner, I got the deluxe monthly planner, which is the one I have now, but I got the bigger size, the 8.5 inch by 11, and I also got the bigger folio, which I think this is like 10 by 13 if I'm not mistaken. So I got this, and then I decided that that planner was just way too big for me. Um, so I got the smaller one with the smaller folio, which is this one. I mean, there is quite a bit of a size difference between the two. So I got the smaller one, and I couldn't figure out what I was going to do with this. I thought about giving it away, um, but then I just thought that perhaps it would fit my MacBook. So I tried it and it does. It fits it absolutely perfectly. So I have the 13 inch um, MacBook Air and as you can see here, you know, it has the little pocket thing so it just slides right in there and is completely protected and it fits it perfect. So, just an idea that this uh, 10 inch by 13 inch folio from um, Erin Condren does double as a laptop case, if you're wondering. So, that was just a side note. So we will go ahead and get on with today's cash stuffing. Um, it's not working there. So we'll get out my planner and my pen. All right, so we are in the last week here. And we will zoom in. So just like always, I just write everything ahead of time so that um, the videos don't take 10 million hours to get through. Okay, so we will start here. Credit one gets the normal $15, and this one is due January 2nd. Um, so I did already go ahead and pay this. So I had $15 for the last four weeks, so um, I was able to pay $60 on that one, which actually the minimum payment on that was like $45, but I've been putting a little bit towards it um, just to get it down a little faster, so that one I did up my minimum payment a little bit, so I paid $60 on that one, um, which will come out of my account. Lend Up gets 5 this one here was $9.50. Merrick is $12.50. Um, Kohl's $6.75. PPCC is $8.25. NFM was $6.25. Credit one thirty six twenty five, and Walmart was nine seventy five. So these guys here got fifteen and five nine fifty twelve fifty six seventy five. 825, 625, lots of 25s and 75s. 
$36.25 and $9.75. So that one is $119.25. And hold on, that doesn't seem right. I'm going to try that one more time. $15.5. Nine fifty, twelve fifty, six seventy five, eight twenty five, six twenty five, thirty six two five, nine seven five. I thought that seemed off, so one oh nine twenty five. Okay, so I'm just gonna move down here. Uh, the Western Federal is always the same, fifty six seventy five. So that total will remain that. And then um, UNI is one fifty three. That's my car payment. <clears throat> and State Farm, which is my insurance, is thirty two seventy five. So that total is one eighty five seventy five. Oops, I always zoom my or zoom the camera in the wrong way. Okay, so I've gone over this before, and I actually have a video explaining the whole Capital One thing. But what I do these this section here or these bills here. Um, I transfer out of my checking account where my paycheck is deposited into. I transfer these totals, the sum of those totals, into my Capital One checking account, and then it, when it hits that account, I then transfer. So I'll transfer 109.25 to my bills savings account, 56.75 to my loan saving account and one eighty five seventy five to my car savings account. So I have those three savings account. I actually also have an actual savings account. Um, so then I just transfer all three to there, and then these payments will come out of there um, when their due date is, whenever it may fall during the month. That way I don't have so many cash envelopes. And then these over here are the ones that I have physical cash envelopes for that I take cash out of the bank for. So, we will go ahead and start with this. Um, so these are basically the same every week. I do 45 for gas, and actually, I don't know about you guys, but um, gas has drastically gone down. Um, so it's only been taking about 30 to $32 a week to fill my car up with gas. Um, so I hope they stay that way. I think I just got gas the other day and it was a dollar ninety six. So um, that's really really exciting. So hopefully they stay where they are and don't raise any more. Um, groceries I do sixty. Spending I do sixty. Uh, this is my daughter's tumbling. It gets twenty, and cell phone gets thirty. So we have 45, 60, 60, 20, and 30. It's 215. And then my sinking funds, I'm going to do 15. You can't see that. There you go. 15 for vacation, and I'm going to do 35 this week for savings. So we have 50 here. Okay, so that means that these two totals are what I need to take out for cash. So I'm just going to come down here. So my cash total is going to be two sixty-five. And then I am going to add up these totals here, and that's going to be what I need to transfer to Capital One. 75 and 185.75. So that's, let me get that again. 309.25, 
56.75 and 185.75. So 351.75. So this amount will be transferred to Capital One Checking, and then once it hits that account, it'll be dispersed to my three different savings accounts for the totals that I have over here. So our total bills this week is $616.75. My income this week was $660. So we take those, ooh, I think I did add instead, minus. So we have $43 and 25 cents to put towards my debt snowball. So if you guys watched my other video, um, which showed my current debt going into January, this one here, so that amount that I have left over this week <clears throat> is going to go toward this one main, um, which I will also be paying the minimum payment on it. Um, so putting the minimum payment and the extra debt snowball to this one to get it paid off a little faster. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run to the bank um, to get the cash that I need. And... I don't have a piece of paper, otherwise I would show you guys. But yeah, so I'm just going to run to the bank and get the cash that I need. Um, and I will be right back and we can go ahead and stuff the envelopes. Okay, so I am back with my cash. Um, I've mentioned this before, but I rarely ever get 50s or 100s. Um, just because a lot of the stuff that I do... You know, my minimum payments, a lot of it each week are under 50 or like my groceries and spending that I do $60, um, I'd rather not have to hand a 50 and then get a bunch of change back, so um, I just like to have the smaller bills to use for gas, groceries, and spending and whatnot. So, uh, these are my current seven envelopes. I have gas, grocery, spending, tumbling, cell phone, vacation, and savings. So, we will go ahead and get started. So gas gets 45, and I just filled up a few days ago, so, and it usually lasts me a week, so I probably won't, I might even have, um, I don't have a lot of driving to do because we have uh, Monday and Tuesday off from work, so I have a four day um, vacation, and when I do have to go to work, it's like 15 minutes one way, so, um, I'm going to be saving gas, so I don't think that I will have to fill up until possibly next Friday. So this one might even get more money before I have to fill up. Uh, groceries gets 20, or 20, 60. Spending also gets 60. Um, tumbling gets the normal 20, and there's 60 in there already, so I know I need to pay that here shortly. Um, and then cell phone gets 30. We'll just do some 10s here. My sinking funds. Um, vacation gets 15. We do have some in there already. Let's put all that together. And then savings is going to get the rest, which should be uh, 35. So we have 10, 20, no. If I knew how to count, 10, 15, 20, 25, 
26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So we will add that in there. So there we have it. Everything is where it needs to go. And now these three here, the gas, the spending, and the groceries, I just keep with me um, in my billfold. And then the rest of these, the other four, um, I keep in a safe place at home. Um, and then I only take them out when I need them. Um, or when I have to pay a bill, or obviously when I do my envelope stuffing videos on Friday. So, um, so I will put those away. And I just wanted to thank you guys for watching the video. Um, I hope you guys all had a great Christmas and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day is coming up next week. So I want to wish you guys a Happy New Year. Um, and I do plan on making a video on what my New Year's goals and 2019 goals are um, as far as budgeting. Um, and whatnot and maybe even some personal goals so uh, please stay tuned for that and I will catch you guys in my next video bye